Yeah. His flesh. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. John the sixth chapter, when they heard him speaking and saying what he was saying, they like, they talking about, we going to literally eat it? And they got offended and then walked off. They, they walked away from it. You know? Or, um, who was that he was talking to? He says, can I, how can I be born again? Um, Nicodemus. Nicodemus. Nicodemus, yeah, yeah. Nicodemus got something in that moment. He was supposed to be a doctor of another, another piece of meat, he told them that the temple was going to be Oh, yeah. destroyed and rebuilt in, in three days. And they was like, that's blasphemy. But when you when you're out here you could ask, wait, 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 we got each other. Why? Yeah. It's the difference of being out here and saying, hey, why? And then we can ask you questions to make sure that we don't just keep going to some head deeper waters and, and you guys don't don't go and fully understand. That's why we like, you know what that means? Okay, you got it, so let's keep going. If and not, let's go back. And, and that's what the up. holy that's what the Holy Spirit is for. Mm -hmm. The Holy yeah. Spirit is only gonna get on upon those who the Lord is sanctioned to, to, to get the understanding. Yeah. If you if, if the Lord don't put the Holy Spirit upon you, you're not gonna get any of it. Yeah. You're not gonna you're not gonna be able to receive it. You're gonna choke, you're gonna get offended. Yeah. The natural man receives not the things of the spirit, for they are foolishness unto him. Alright? This is uh, second, uh, first Peter chapter two, uh, verse. I'm sorry, verse one, because this is kind of the the, the way that you humble yourself and sort of sit as a newborn baby, right? Uh, it says, "Wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisy and envies and evil speech, hey, which are the what? Which are the qualities, hey, that that keep you away from the spirit, man? You know, because you know? those are those are wicked, uh, wicked spirits." Because it's a lot of prophecies that's happening, hey, that the average person ain't gonna be able to get, man. You know? 
whatever it may be, hey, whether it's the MOTP, and whether it's a uh, proxy like the 38 chapter, you know, hey, even going into the, the heavier um, books of uh, Daniel and Revelation, you know, you, you gotta start off with the basics, man. You'll get built up there. Y'all bash me around, shot. Hey, hey, that's another thing. You gotta pray for increases as well, man. Yeah. You know, because the Lord wants to see your effort. If you're, if he's showing, if you're showing forth the Lord, y'all bash me around, shot. Hey, that you're studying, you're praying, you're fasting, you're doing everything in order to hey, uh, benefit uh, the spirit. Hey, well, he'll give you another portion, man. Yeah. And when we go into the parable of the talents, hey, those men, they were increased double. You know, they flipped their talents, and the man that didn't uh, flip his, his was given unto someone else. Right? What was that? Uh, Apollo Water yep. and uh, Most I Gate Increase. I forgot how it go, but. Um, yeah, it's Apollo Most I Gate The Increase, yeah. I have what you just said. Uh, James 1, verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Like the brother said, man, if you want, you want that increase, you know, pray, pray to the Lord to increase you. You know, wherever you lack in that, man, whatever, you know, wisdom or, or you know, understanding, you know, of certain things, you know. Patience. Patience, you know, things that even work on yourself, mm -hmm. your character. You know, in yeah. hey, it says that, um, was it in Corinthians, basically to uh, covet. Um, wisdom. You know, covet uh, uh, um, spiritual gifts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Desire spiritual gifts, man. You know, the Lord respects that more than you praying for carnal shit. Mm -hmm. You know, because ultimately you're building yourself up uh, as a better vessel as a His duty, man. You know, hey, which is going to exhibit uh, your quality uh, in, in the physical. Man. You know, uh, you got to be. First Corinthians three and eighteen. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Yep. It says, let him become a fool that he may be wise. And you have to be humbled down, man. You're going to get broken down. You're going to be humble. And then Yahweh Bashim is going to start to feed you with that wisdom, man. Because you got to understand that. And you were once in the world, so you ain't no shit, man. Everything you thought you knew, and which was all by, by man's wisdom, Esau's so-called uh, educational system, man. His indoctrination. Which is all, uh, which is all false, man. Hey, here through the spirit of power, y'all by Shemuel Shai is where you start to actually learn, man. Hey, the word we always go into that word educate, uh, which means to draw from within. You know, that's ultimately what's happening. But in Esau society, it's, it's flipped, man, and it's geared towards wickedness. You know, come on, man. Verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Most High. Yeah, the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Most High, man. And there's many, many videos showing forth the foolishness that Esau teach you, man. Just for example, the college educational system, man. Hey, why is it that the uh, majority of uh, college graduates aren't in the field of their degree? You know, because really, if it, if it was designed correctly for you to for you to thrive in that in that specific field, and hey, you would come right out of school and you would have a job there. But then Esau would say, okay, well. It's so many, it'd be 200 psychology uh, graduates or something mm -hmm. like that. And you can't get into the field of psychology hey, until you get your doctorate. So he's like, oh, go back to school. It's over, bro. bro it's like, and then he tells you, yeah. oh, when you get in the field, you need five years of experience before you get yeah. in. Well, how the hell are you supposed to do that? How, how much thousands of dollars in loans are you in after well, that? Come on now. <laughs> it shows you that that's that's backwards, man. It's not really to it's not really for your gain. It's for his pockets. You know, as long as he had continued to have a a generation of, of, of zombies coming up every year, and guess what? He continues to, to to rule, man. It started before college too. Bro. Yeah. Cause look, they're telling you in high school, oh, well, hey, go to college, go to college, pick your major. And then the majors that that actually you actually be able to get a job in, they don't push those. They tell you, oh, another thing, they'll tell you, go to whatever college you want to. Not even telling the student, hey, well, actually no think that. about, hey, the price of what you're, you're, you're getting yourself into, man. You're going to yeah. have to pay for this. Also, there's some schools that are more accredited in certain areas. Oh, than absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. So you can't just go to a school that's known for putting out athletes. 
It's the experience, bro. That's all yeah. it is. Yeah, I want you to get the experience, right? Yeah. In a setting like that. But a lot of you that have to go to another four-year high school is what it really is. Yeah. Or another two-year high school to keep going. And then, you, then you're caught in the trap. Now you're in heavy debt. Yeah, and then you still don't learn, you still don't learn the, the things that you need to know in this society. You still don't know how to pay taxes. You still don't know about rent. You still don't know about mortgages. Or, you know, the, the, the civil wars of taking out loans. Economics of the world. And even in that. Esau's economics class in his classroom, he'll tell you that the economy is doing fine. You know, it's no problems. You ask about inflation and things like that, they'll briefly go over it. Oh, well, this is inflation. But then you ask about, okay, what do you think, Professor, what do you think about the current state of our economy? Do you believe we'll, we'll be getting out of this hole? And they'll be like, oh, absolutely. Knowing damn well that this shit is about to crash, man. Yeah. They don't bring up nothing about, hey, they're trying to uh, change the system uh, to a technocracy. You know, they don't tell you the truth in this There's world, man. Physical, yeah, money. Yes, yeah. kind. And all of this, this is a lot, y'all. Get back to the point so we stay on point what we're talking about. All of this is showing you the B. We didn't talk about all this BS that you can learn, but you can learn all that from reading the Bible. You can learn all of this in the Bible. Yep. Yes, what was the president's name? Said, uh, I think it was Truman. Uh, I, I'm oh, not yeah, sure. He said a thorough um, education on no, the Bible. That was uh, uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Yeah. Yeah. He said thorough education in the Bible is better than a college education. And that's the fact, man. Because hey, you learn everything within the scripture. Everything. You learn how to how to conduct yourself, you know, money. in the spirit, hey, with money. Yeah. Hey, it teach you it teach you about agriculture. You know, it teaches you about the the, the like for all the um, classes in uh, college, but you got um, biology, geology, psychology, where well, the scriptures, hey, wisdom of Solomon tells you, and you learn um dang, I believe it's seven. Yeah. Where it says the yeah. thoughts of men, the intent of the heart or the thoughts yeah. of men. Sociology. Yeah, sociology, geology, biology, biology yeah. you know, you learn about engineering, you know, uh, the heights of buildings that you're not supposed to go over. Yeah, they, they say that in the law, don't they? Yeah. About, you know, building a building so many with yeah, cubits, cubits high or whatever. Because, hey, these skyscrapers are messing up the, uh, the airflow, the airflow of, of the earth, right? And what's funny is, it, it shows you that in the, in the scriptures, right? But they don't care about that. That's not what the people care about. People just want to make a dollar. They tell, tell, the scriptures give you everything you need. So this is where you should be to get that information. Because if they were teaching it the right way, it wouldn't be all this folly, uh, that was folly going on coming out of the Christian church or all the Christians that's on the, on the planet. This is where you're going to get the true understanding of everything in life. Okay, this right here before the prophets, man, right? like in, your, in the city near you. Yeah, the scriptures say for uh, wisdom is the mother of all, you know? She's the mother of all of this, man. And that wisdom is contained within the scriptures, man. Come on now. Uh, continuing on, it says, for, for it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. Kind. Hey, if a uh, brother going up to a college and go speak to a history professor, hey, he's going to out, uh, outsmart that history professor, man. You know, you go ask a history professor about an iconoclasm in a, in a regular college, man. A uh, so-called um, History 101 class. They're going to look at you like, like, what are you talking about? Or uh, why don't you bring that up? You know, I'll get it. He looked at me like, what the, what the fuck? How you know about this? Where did where where this come from? Hmm. And still didn't tell me shit about it, man. <laughs> yeah, it kind, bro. <laughs> Going to Assyrian or something, too. You know? But this just goes to show you, man. Can you read that again, bro? Come on. Verse Corinthians 3 and uh, verse 19, mm -hmm. uh, verse 20, stop. And again, but the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Verse 19, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftsmen. And, and again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Mm -hmm. 